And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Good morning and happy Friday. We're off to a hot and sunny finish the work week out there. Shades of green on the threat tracker means no chance of any showers nor chance of any thunderstorms for today. But for tomorrow, shades of yellow means that there is a slight chance of that happening. Storm tracker satellite and radar picking up some clouds to start off the morning just across the southern half of the Snake River Plain, even across western Wyoming. So we are seeing those clouds building in this morning, but overall skies will be mainly sunny for today. Looking ahead to tomorrow, the pattern changes slightly. We still of that area of high pressure just to our southeast area of low pressure out to the west so we could see some of that monsoon moisture creep into into southeast idaho but we do have that cold front and area of low pressure just north of it so with that being said as that moves eastward that will actually keep the moisture out of the central mountains and even away from the upper half of the snake river plain so any chance of any showers or thunderstorms for tomorrow We'll be right across Montpelier, Soda Springs, even Pocatello with a very slight chance of Idaho Falls getting in on any of the rain action. And as I time that out for you on the future tracker for tomorrow, around 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, seeing lots of patchy white clouds to start off the morning. So there will be an increase in clouds tomorrow compared to what we've been seeing today. By about 9 o'clock, still seeing those clouds, isolated, very isolated showers popping up east of Rexburg, even out by Driggs tomorrow afternoon. Notice that moisture by about 3 o'clock, like I said, Soda Springs, Montpelier, even out by Afton getting in on some of those showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow. But even by about 7 o'clock, very isolated, even by Soda Springs and Montpelier, still seeing some showers and thunderstorms. So there's actually a pretty good chance that we won't see any thunderstorms for tomorrow across the Snake River Plain. Again, they will be very isolated due to that shift in the pattern for tomorrow. Across the Snake River Plain today, no chances of any rain, nor will we see any thunderstorms for today. We'll see lots of sunshine with very hot temperatures. By about 9 o'clock this morning, we're already in the 70s by this afternoon, already into the upper 90s, 97 degrees for a high temperature this afternoon. Today will be the 17th day that Pocatello has been at at least 90 degrees or greater. So the heat continues even to this evening. We'll be almost Almost around 90 degrees by about 8 o'clock tonight. Temperatures right now pretty mild. We're seeing some areas in the 40s. Some areas might wish those 40s will stick around, but unfortunately, those temperatures will quickly rise today. Right now in Blackfoot, it's 50 degrees. It's 49 degrees in Idaho Falls. It's 62 degrees in Pocatello. Western Wyoming, generally in the 40s. Some areas in the 50s to start off the day. High temperatures this afternoon, mainly in the 90s out there. We'll have a high temperature of 97 degrees in Pocatello, 95 degrees in Blackfoot. 93 degrees for your high temperature in Idaho Falls. Even west of Wyoming, they've been in the low to mid 80s, even getting into the upper upper 80s today with a high temperature of 87 degrees in Jackson, 88 degrees in Driggs, and across the Central Mountains, most areas seeing the 90s for today. Then looking ahead to this evening, skies will be mainly clear with increasing clouds during the overnight, low temperatures in the 50s and the 60s. For your seven-day forecast across Pocatello, a very slight chance of an isolated thunderstorm for tomorrow with a high temperature of 92 degrees. Degrees. The 90s stick around for at least another week with partly cloudy skies on Sunday and Monday, mainly sunny skies by Tuesday. Across Idaho Falls, mainly sunny skies today. Isolated storms possible for tomorrow with a high temperature of 89 degrees. It will be in the mid 80s on Sunday and then the mid to upper 80s continue for at least the next couple of days. Across the Teton area, Jackson, Afton and Driggs, high temperature of 87 degrees today. Then a chance for showers and thunderstorms later tomorrow afternoon, mainly sunny skies on Sunday will stay partly cloudy by Monday and across the central mountains. Sunny skies today with an increase in clouds for tomorrow.